Hello, welcome back to Statistics and Mathematics YouTube channel. Today we are going to start question solving on discrete random variables, specifically on binomial distribution. So let's start. But make sure you have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like and share so that this video will get viral for your friends to also watch. Yes, and also make sure you comment. So let's start. In a binomial distribution, if n is the number of trials and p is the probability of success, then the mean value is given us. So, um, you see, we have been given our n. That is the sample size, our n. We have been given probability of success. So, if you want probability of failure, which is scale, is given us n, uh, sorry, 1 minus p, right? But we have been asked to calculate for the mean. So, our expectation of x will be given as n times what p, of which our answer here is what? A. Fourth thing, he said, in a binomial distribution, if P, Q, and N are probability of success, failure, and number of trials, respectively, then the variance is given us. Yes, so we know that uh, once we have our probability of success, P, probability of failure, uh, Q, and our N, our variance of X is given us P times Q times N. So this is what uh, our probability of what? Uh, sorry, variance. And it can be also be written as N times p times q which is given here so this is what our variance so that's variance for the binomial distribution and then uh, our last question is sorry our next question is saying that if x is a random variable and taking values x probability of success and failure being p and q respectively and n trials being uh, conducted then what is the probability that x taking uh, values of x, the binomial distribution using binomial distribution. So here he is just asking you the p uh, pdf for so, sorry, pmf for binomial distribution and we know that for pmf we have an n combination x p raised to the power x 1 minus p raised to the power uh, n minus x and then if you watch the, my videos on binomial distribution, I told you that the 1 minus p can be given as scale. So furthermore, you can just write it as n combination x P raised to the power x, q, n minus x. So this is what we will have for the PMF for the binomial distribution. So when we check it out from here, you could see clearly that our PMF for the distribution will be our answer B, right? And then for the question 16, he said, in a binomial distribution, the mean and variance are equal, true or false, which is false. Right, it's Poisson distribution that we have the mean and variance to be equal. Because our expectation of x is given as n times p, and then variance of x is also given as n times p times what q. So there is what we have: variance of x and expectation of x. Right, of which expectation of x is uh, not equal to expectation of what? Uh, sorry, expectation of x is not equal to variance of x. Of which our answer is what false. And then we are saying that in a binomial distribution. If P is equal to Q, then probability of X is equal to um, X is given by. So we are just saying that if you have this N combination X, P raised to the power X, Q raised to the power N minus X. And we are saying that our P here is equal to Q. Then what are we meaning? So we are, we, we, he, um, this um, example just um, want a solution in a way that we are just assuming that our P is equal to Q. So here we are just going to replace our q by p right so you are going to have n combination x p raised to the power x you are just changing since you are just saying that p is equal to q you are just changing the q to be p so here will be p raised to the power n minus x right i'm coming let me clean here so that we have space for the work i'm coming so here we have p and p simple indices so you are going to have n combination x simple indices if you are having the same base we add the exponent so you have p raised to the power x plus n minus x right so this is what we are going to have so as i said we have this one right we have this so further expansion will give us those you see that here is negative x and here is x positive x so this one can cancel this one so we are having n combination x times p raised to the power n but don't forget we know that um, addition when we add probability of success to probability of failure we are getting one 
right? And then we are just assuming that probability of success is equal to probability of failure. It means that uh, if we have probability of success to be half and the probability of failure to be half, we are going to get an answer to be one, to be one right? So here, when you check um, in the answers below, we are we are seeing that um, A and B can be a possible answer, right? But you're having 0 0.5 here. So you have to change our probability of success, that's a P, to 0 0.5 since half plus half is equal to 1. And then we could see that our P here is equal to Q. So here, the half plus half is equal to 1. So here, we are going to get an answer of N combination X times half raised to the power N, of which our answer here is answer A. Answer A. And then, um, question 18. We are saying that in an experiment, positive and negative values are equally likely to occur. The probability of obtaining most one negative value in five trial is. So this is um, a binomial distribution question. It's looking like a geometric distribution, but that is not a geometric distribution question, right? It's just similar to geometric. So don't just get yourself confused, right? So let's continue. So you see, we are having positive and negative value of it. They are both likely to occur. So we have two uh, outcome here. So here, our probability of success will be given us one divided by two, and probability of failure will be given us one divided by two. And then our n, you see, he said the probability of obtaining at most five, um, sorry, at most one negative value in five trials. So our n is is going to be equal to five since we are having five trials, right? So our n it will be equal to five. And then he said at most, so here we are asked to find the probability that our x is less than or equal to 1. That's at most 1. So here we are going to have probability that our x is equal to 0 plus probability that our x is equal to 1. Sorry. That probability that our x is equal to 1. Come in. Our x is equal to 1. So this is what we are going to have. Right? Uh -huh. So right now we have a probability, uh, probability of success to be equal to half, probability of failure to be equal to half, and probability of uh, our n to be equal to that, right? So here the work is done. So here we are going to have our five combination x because we know that our normal uh, binomial distribution is giving us. Uh, we know that binomial distribution given us n combination x p raised to the power s q raised to the power n minus x. So this one we are going to have our x here to be is equal to zero. So we are going to have five combinations zero. Probability of success will be given us half. Raise the power x, which is raised to the power 0, times half. Raise the power 5 minus 0. So this is what we are going to have plus uh, 5 combination 1, since our x is equal to 1, half, raise the power 1, half, raise the power 5 minus 1. Of which, when we expand this, if we add this wall, we are going to get um, our final answer to be 6 divided by 32. So, when we add everything, we are going to get 6 divided by 32. So that will be our final answer. And then for the question 19, that one I will leave it, I will leave for you guys as an assignment to do. So please kindly do it and share it at the comment section below. We are saying that we, should, we have been asked to find the mean and variance of the question above. And we know that uh, expectation of x is giving us n times p. And variance of x is giving us n times p times scale. So n times p here, as you can see, we, we know that our n is 5 times our p which is half. So I want to get 5 divided by 2. And then our variance 2 is um, 5 times half times half. So you are going to also get, you are also going to get 5 divided by 4. So there is what, our variance, sorry, mean and what variance. All right, but still do it and share it at the comment section below, okay? Yeah, thank you for solving it. And then in the question 12, sorry, question 20, we are having said, let x be a random variable that follows binomial distribution with expectation of what? Uh, please, I'm coming. Just a second. So, let me read the question again. It said, let x be a random variable that follows a binomial distribution with expectation of x which is equal to 7 and variance of x which is equal to 6 then the probabilities of success p is so we have been given expectation of x to be 7 and variance of 
x to be equal to 6 and then we have been asked to um, give the probability of success and we know that expectation of x is giving us mp and variance of x is giving us mp times scale and then we know that our mp is giving us 7 so here we have an mp is equal to 7 which is equation 1 and then mpq is equal to um, 6 which is equation 2 so what can we do to get our probability of success we could see that when we divide um, equation 2 by equation 1 we are going to um, get our q so here uh, we are going to have divide equation 2 by equation 1 so we are going to have mpq divided by mp which is equal to 6 divided by 7 so this one will cancel this we are going to get our q to be equal to 6 divided by 7 and we know that probability of success is equal to 1 minus q so p will be given as 1 minus 6 divided by 7 and our problem probability of success will be given as 1 over 7 so here we are going to get our answer to be what 1 divided by 7 that is answer c so this um uh, is small MCQ questions on binomial distribution in our next video we are going to solve um uh, bino uh, sorry we are going to solve MCQ questions on Poisson distribution so kindly stay firm for you to get more examples to solve in order for you to pass your exam this is statistics and mathematics youtube channel if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe like and share so that this video will get viral for your friends to watch thank you